again, I'm Henry T. Welcome to KZQ Channel 32. The name of this show is Inspiration. What a beautiful word. And every time I even say the word, it's like poetry in motion. But it's something that just falls out of heaven and says, hey, lift people up. Let this information lift people up. I have nothing to do with it. It's special guests on the show that do it for all of us. And uh, I just sit here and just go for the ride. And I'm just privileged, honored. What a lucky guy for me to be sitting here and to be inspired like these guests get me inspired. And the name of the show is Be Inspired with Henry T. And write it down somewhere. And it's on every morning now, 8 a.m. right here on KZQ Channel 32. Snow is on the ground. Winter is here. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Ooh, Christmas is knocking on the door. How many shopping days and all that? We'll talk about another day. But today we're talking inspiration with Stephanie Ancina, who will be here in just a few minutes. Stay right there. She has got one of the most powerful inspirational stories we've ever heard in the state of New Mexico. Stay right there. We're coming back on KZQ. Channel 32. Funding for today's programming has been provided in part by A&D Heating and Air Conditioning. Hi, my name is Aaron, and I am the owner of A&D Heating and Air Conditioning. I am an avid listener of Channel 32, and this is our brand, A&D Signature Series. A&D also provides repairs, new installations, evaporative to refrigerated conversions, and other services. A&D Heating and Air Conditioning. 505-489-9342. Thanks for supporting family programming. Today's programming has been brought to you in part by Marty Sice, a local State Farm Insurance agent. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. Mm. We're never having kids. Mm -mm. Ah. I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. Marty Size, 345-3431. Thank you for supporting Family Programming. Hello, New Mexico, Colorado, Arizona, Texas, wherever you are today. Well, we're blessed that this TV station can reach more than a million people all in one day. Wow, what a powerful mechanism. And today, I really feel that power because I want all of you to really give our guest your undivided attention today. Her name is Stephanie. You've seen her and listened to her testimonial before. And today, she's smiling bigger <laughs> than ever. This is your third trip to the so-called Henry T. Show. And all in phases, what happened, progress, and today, future looking mm -hmm. so bright for you. And... <laughs> 10 seconds or less if it's possible, and that's an exaggeration, but for those who don't know your story, capsulize it quickly. Let's get out of that way, and now we okay. move to the future. What happened? Well, um, first of all, I want to thank you for allowing me back on the show again, Henry. It's, wow. it's such a pleasure to be here, and thank you for all you do for us in the community. But um, to get back to where we are today, um, I was in an 18-month uh, darkness journey for myself. Um, I was living in darkness for a long time. And so um, November 1st of 2015 remarks is the day that joy and brightness has come to my life. It's, uh, it's been quite a journey. 
I lived in darkness for so long that I no longer live there. I feel like that I am on a new journey. My life has changed dramatically. I'm the happiest I've ever been in a long time. I'm filled with joy and peace and love. So let's just say the word one time. Incarcerated, now that's behind mm -hmm. you and watch Stephanie go. Yeah. It's exciting <laughs> to watch your progress. Our first show had the mm -hmm. facts and figures. The second show, wow, look at her now. And our third show, wow, <laughs> look at her now. <laughs> What's going on with you today? Share with us all that great news. <laughs> well, today, um, uh, you know, I received a new job. I was working, you know, a minimum wage job for a couple of months. And, you know, that's another way of the Lord humbling myself, you know, because he had something better in store. And so, you know, he placed people in my path and I received a job and um, getting paid more than minimum wage. It's a great company. I'm so blessed to be a part of that company. Um, the owner is so humble um, to be given a second chance and not to be looked at, you know, what your past is, is such a blessing. It's such an honor. So, um, Work is great, you know, life is good. I've also, you know, moved into a new apartment, which is great. It's my home. Um, I feel peaceful there. I'm happy there. So the Lord has just opened many doors that I never could have opened on my own. Wow. No. You know, the difference in darkness and the light that's shining on you right now. What's the feeling mentally, physically, spiritually to be in that light? Well, um, I'm going to go back on November 1st, 2013, just for a little bit, Henry. Um, November 1st, 2015 of this year was um, two years ago that I was incarcerated. Um, I looked back on that date. There was a picture that me and my father took. And I looked at that picture and I saw such a broken girl who had no life, no spirit left in her. She had no fight left in her. But when I look at who I am today, it's a total transformation. And only because the Lord... I surrendered to him and allowed him to change my life. Was it hard? Yes, it was hard, but I was willing to fight. I was willing to fight. Wow. You know, so many people say, oh, it's fiction. <laughs> Henry T, <laughs> Stephanie, you know, it's abracadabra, hocus pocus. What is this? It, it's not fake. No. It's not fiction. No. He's real. God is real, Henry. And, and driving up here, you know, I looked at the mountain with the snow. And I thought to myself, that is just the prettiest thing I've ever seen. And I'm looking, thinking back on my journey when I was on the other side of that mountain in darkness. And I remember saying, I know that you have a plan for me on the other side of that mountain. I know that you do. And I'm going to keep fighting and I'm going to keep walking with you. I'm going to be obedient to you because I know that you have a plan. Here I am sitting here today on the other side of that mountain, talking to you, sharing my story, inspiring others to not to give up. God has a better plan than we could ever dream of. Obedience. Obedience. Righteousness. Yes. And then the rewards are great. Yes. Incredible. Yes. Try it. You'll like it. Mm -hmm. But it's really, we see the miracles in you. In fact, the fact that you're there sitting there lifts me up. Makes me feel stronger, better. Puts a smile on my <laughs> face. That's the influence mm -hmm. you have now. And you realize that, don't you? People see a different you. Therefore, they're going to feel different after talking with you. They do. And you know what the most touching thing is for me, Henry, is that I have a lot of friends that reach out. You know, I had a friend in Texas that reached out to me. And, and she was like, I just want to thank you for changing my life, even when you know you didn't. And I get emotional because I didn't think that I could have that impact, but it's not me. It's the Lord working through me to show them, this is what I can do for you. I can take you out of darkness and bring you to the light. So I'm very blessed, you know, to have friends that reach out and say, you've changed my life. You've helped me to stay strong and not give up. Wow. Mm -hmm. If somebody's out there right now going through a tremendous challenge, they've fallen like every other man and woman will ever that will ever walk the face of the earth you fall yeah but you can stand back up can. you've already given us a couple of points on how to stand back up follow through with that 
even farther. Show us how to stand up, Stephanie. I think the, the most important thing that we need to know is that we don't give ourselves enough credit. We're stronger than what we think we are. You know, we allow the enemy to come in and tell us, you're not worthy, you're not good enough, you can't do this, nobody's going to love you, who's going to want you? I mean, look at you. You know, we allow the enemy to tell us that. Well, we're worthy of so much more. My best advice to anybody would be don't give up the fight. You have a lot of fight left in you. When you feel like crawling and you can't get up, reach out for his hand. He's just there waiting for you. He's just waiting for you. So you rely on God's word, the book, mm -hmm. to guide you. I do. It's all in there, isn't it? It is. Every situation. Mm -hmm. Look at Paul, mm -hmm. Matthew, Job, all Joseph. of them mm -hmm. have these great stories to share. They do. And we need to get in there and read mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. What's the Bible done for you? You know what? The Bible has shown me a truth, has shown me so much truth. You know, my favorite book in the Bible is Titus. I want to be a Titus woman. Wow. You know, I remember doing a sermon on Titus and Grants. You know, how to be a leader, how to be, you know, let your character show, your integrity show, how to change, you know, people's vision. You know, we are like, the world is like the island of Crete. There's so much hate. There's so much um, disloyal. There's just so much violence. It doesn't have to be that way. You know, we're the salt of the earth. We're soldiers for God. It's up to us, you know, to make that choice, you know, to help people overcome their struggles. When I read the book of John, wow, it's all there. <laughs> and I tell people, you want to really know how to get started in the Bible? John. Yeah, Genesis is important. This is the beginning. John. But go to John, and let's start following Jesus' ministry mm -hmm. on earth. Mm -hmm. The first miracle at the wedding at Cana, Mom says, hey, we're out of wine. Make some wine. <laughs> yeah. Mom, I'm not supposed to do <laughs> right, that yet. Right. Make some wine anyway. Mm -hmm. Miracle number one. And then he gets out there into the ministry. Mm -hmm. Real stories. Mm -hmm. Blind men seen again. Mm -hmm. Crippled, walking again. Not yeah. abracadabra, no. not hocus pocus. No. Real stories. Mm -hmm. He was here. Mm -hmm. I know you've read the book of John. And you just shared with us your love for the book of Titus. Mm -hmm. But... You talk about inspiration. That whole, pick your book. Right. It's going to inspire mm -hmm. you. You lean on it every day. Mm -hmm. I see in church, and you're this shining <laughs> star, this flower that walks in. But that's your presence now. Mm -hmm. You're under that great influence mm -hmm. now, and you want people to see it in you. Do you not? I do want them to see it in me. You know, I used to be... Um, I felt alone for a long time, Henry. I felt like that, you know, I had to fit in. You know, I was pretending to be somebody that I wasn't, you know, and I remember the words that, you know, my cousin Ruth spoke, and she's like, just be you, be unique. God created you to be you and not anybody else. You know, I'm at a place in my life now where I have um, accepted who I am. These changes that have gone on, I... It, it, I don't know how to put it into words, Henry. I, I really don't. Like, God is so good. And I give him all the glory each and every day because without him, I wouldn't be this the, the woman that he molded and shaped me into today. Wow. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Thanksgiving, <laughs> a holiday coming up that you haven't experienced for how long? 18 months, maybe two years. Christmas coming. Mm -hmm. Wow. Family yeah. coming together, yeah. all that great food and celebration and presents being packed, passed back and forth, sitting together at a, at a big table and eating that delicious <laughs> food. How much did you miss that? You know, Henry, I miss that a lot. The family is so important. And sometimes, you know, we don't all get along. But to be in the presence of my family this holiday season and my kids is such a blessing for me because that was taken away from me for 18 months. And to be able to sit and have dinner with my dad, my kids, to see my mom is such a blessing, you know, to be able to share my journey with them at a table instead of a glass. Wow. You know? So it's so... 
This holiday season, I have so much to be thankful for. It's just not about the gifts and the presents. It's about life. It's about a new life that I've been given a second chance. And then on the other side, mom and dad, sisters and brothers, your children. Think of the joy in them to have you with them <laughs> yeah. during this special time of year. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. But now focused on these special days. These special days. How do they feel? They feel um, great. They feel happy, um, at peace. I think our relationship, especially with my kids, has gone to a different level. We spend a lot of quality time together. You know, I'm thinking for my sons in the Albuquerque area. We eat dinner once a week, and we just talk about life, the day, the week. So Lindsay's in, in Clovis, and, you know, we talk on the phone, and she's a blessing. So... <laughs> Great. You know, uh, I look at your future, and I really wish I could see the end story of your great book that you're <laughs> going to write, the motion picture that you're going to produce about your life, because your future is so exciting. Can you give us a hint of where it's going? Where do you picture yourself going? You know, Henry, um, I picture myself going in a direction, you know, that's God's will. You know, I don't want to lean on my own understanding, but, you know, I brought this book here today because this book is every emotion, frustration, everything that I went through while I was gone. And I hope to share that, you know, with the world to know that, hey, we can overcome anything, anything is possible with God. Anything. What's in that book? This book is um, transformation. It's, it's um, defeat. It's um, frustration, disappointment. There's abandonment in here. There's love in here. There's joy, sadness. Everything in this book is a, realiza a realization of where I've come from, from dark to light. Every step, every journey, everything that I encountered is in this book, and plus many, many more are here. Wow. And, and this is true. This is real. It's not make-believe. This is real. This is something that I encountered. These are moments, mm -hmm. incarceration, mm -hmm. chronicled day-to-day, -day, mm -hmm. hour per hour, yep. but it's all in the past. Mm -hmm. But yet you're using it as a catalyst for your future. Yes, because there's visions in here that I was given that have happened today. That's why it means so much. When the Lord gives you a vision... And you don't understand it then, like, you know, with the truck, he gave me a vision. I don't understand this vision. Why are you give, Why do I have this vision? And then I was given a truck a year to the date later. So this means so much to me because the Lord spoke to me in there. And so me writing it down is a true walking testimony of how real he is and what he's done in my life. Wow. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Yeah. On the job, <laughs> a working experience you got that great smile going all of the time. Yeah. How do you think you've brightened up the day of others around you? What do you bring to the working table every day? I think the difference is, is peace. You know, a lot of people don't have that peace inside. We all go through our own struggles. And um, I think what I bring is joy and light. And like sometimes, you know, they'll look at me like, why are you so happy today? What do you mean? Why am I so happy today? This is who I am. Like, I have so much to be happy for, and so do you. You know, we have jobs. We have transportation, you know? So they look at me like, Steph, like, how do you come to work every day with so much joy? Like, how do you do that? You know what? It's a choice, Henry. If it's not too private, what do you pray for? You know what, Henry? Um, I pray for, there's... Prayer sometimes can be like, I want, I want, I want. But what I pray for is what God's will is for my life. What is your will? Who do you see in my future? You know, I, I want a bright future. You know, I want to be able to um, share my journey. Um, I want to be able to, you know, touch somebody and change their life. Um, but I mostly pray, you know, to keep me on the right path and to keep me in alignment. I never want to hell. I, I don't want to fall. There are people all around the state right now hurting. Mm -hmm. They've taken that other path. Now they want to change. And you've been there and I've been there. We've all been there. Yeah. How do they feel better? 
How do they come out of that hurt? How do they transform their life? I think in order to come out of that hurt that you have to really look at yourself and be, what's the cause of this hurt? What's causing me to hurt so bad? I remember just with my personal experiences, I had to really come clean with what I was on the inside. You know, um, nobody likes to confront your own feelings, you know, your own emotions. But I think if you confront those feelings and emotions, it's so much better. Like you have to be honest with yourself, you know, and, and don't give up. Like, I know it seems hard. I've been there. I've been places where I've cried and I've been at rock bottom, lost everything. I didn't give up. You can't give up. You have to keep striving because there's something on the other side of the mountain. Wow. That's the name of your book, isn't it? (laughs) I feel it coming. I'll buy the first book. (laughs) I'll sign it for you. Amen. I know. And it goes in, after I read it, it's going up there in my archives. That's for sure. Yeah. I don't want to reiterate anything except I want to make something extremely dramatic. So our audience, so myself, so we can understand. Thanksgiving on the other side where you've been. Mm -hmm. What's it like? And what's going to be the difference this time? Oh, Thanksgiving on the other side is is lonely. It's um, there's a lot of sorrow. There's a lot of sadness because you know we're not with our family. We're not out here. We don't get that great perfect meal, but we do get a meal. Um, and to be out here today to spend Thanksgiving with the people that I love the most, it's just I, I I'm just. I'm blessed, Henry. Wow. There's no other way to put it. December 24th in the evening. What's the feeling? What do you recall there? And what do you look forward to this December 24th, late in the evening, you know, waking up on the 25th? <laughs> what I recall in there is, honestly, is waking up to nothing. Waking up to nothing, Henry, to emptiness. But out here... I'm waking up to a whole other gift that I'm able to unwrap, and that's the gift of life. The gift of life is the most important thing, and to spend it with the people that I love the most. So there's a big difference. How much do you love those people (laughs) that you love the most? (laughs) Tell me. I love them so much. They have brought so much joy in my life. They didn't give up on me. They didn't give up on me. And no parent deserves to go through what my parents have been through or my kids. So to see them out here and, and never leave in my side, I'm, you know, I love them. And friends that have come into my life and that I didn't expect to come into my life have been a true blessing. You know, it's been a blessing, Henry. <laughs> Sometimes the unexpected things happen, you know, and they've happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in that book, you know, I can picture you and Paul <laughs> sitting together and comparing notes. What a great writer he was, yeah. that he is to this day. Yeah. Incredible writer. With your intelligence, with your fortitude, with that great heart of yours, that's a bestseller you're holding right there. Yeah. It's, I can hardly wait to read the highlights. Mm-hmm. It's not fiction, Henry. No. That's the, it's not fiction. It's real. It's real. Wow. Uh, yeah. All I can say is a huge thank you for coming in here today (laughs) to share Mm -hmm. your powerful, inspirational story Mm -hmm. with all of us. Thank you for having me here. (laughs) You've got the last word. (laughs) What I want to say today is um, I just want to thank the Lord for giving me this new life and a second chance. And I want to tell the viewers out there, don't ever give up because God loves you. He's just waiting for you to take that hand. He's just waiting to change your life. If he changed my life, he can change your life and anybody's life. Just don't give up. Don't give up. Yeah. What a joy to have you (laughs) in here today. Thank you, Henry. Wow. Stephanie just lifted up the whole state of New Mexico. (laughs) And you too, Colorado, Arizona, and Texas. I feel so good to have her inspiration. (laughs) all over us today. Oh, yeah. Thank you for being with us today on KZQ Channel 32. By the way, we're on every morning at 8 o'clock. If you have an inspirational story, I don't know about it, 
unless you tell me about it. Call me at 907-4523 or here at the studio at 884-8355. Wow. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I want to hear your story. Share it with me today. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you, Henry. It's been a pleasure. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. See you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Take care. you got a story, don't forget to call me with it, 907-4523, or email originalgameface at gmail.com. It's been great talking with you today, right here on KZQ. Remember, we're on every morning right here, Be Inspired with Henry T, 8 o'clock on KZQ, Channel 32. Funding for today's programming has been brought to you in part by Malloy Dodge, Albuquerque's new and used Dodge and Ram truck dealer since 1955. I'm Nick Malloy from Malloy Dodge. For four generations, we've been serving thousands of New Mexicans from all across our fine state. Over 65 years of trust. Our family serving yours. Malloy Dodge, we're proud to stand behind our community. Thank you for supporting family programming.